Okay, so we are starting from where we left the last time. So we are going to continue from here. Sneha, you can start. Tell me the type of conditional. This one is the first one. Sir, this is the second conditional. <clears throat> second conditional. Okay. Tell me the reason why it is second conditional. Sir, because sir, because we are talking about an we are talking about an action that about a condition that can that has chances that it may not be un, that it may not be fulfilled. That it may not be fulfilled, yes. And we have simple past in the if clause and would plus first form of the verb that is travel present. So see, uh, one of the best ways to check what kind of conditional it is by checking the tenses that are present in both the clauses, right? Because now we know the types of uh, uh, tenses that are present in both the clauses. So first we can check the tenses from there only we can find what type of conditional is it, right? So it is much more safe to go by that way. Okay, so we Thank can you, clearly sir. see that it is second conditional. Welcome. Yes, Hassan. Yes, sir. Sir, which one I have to tell? Tell the next one. We have to complete the exercise quickly. Okay, sir. If you, ha if I had brought my camera with me, I would have taken a photo. Um, sir, this one only. Tell me, tell me that one. Okay, no problem. Okay, sir. If I had brought my camera with me, I would have taken a photo. Sir, it is a third conditional sentence because, sir, it's the if sentence, it is, sir, past perfect tense, sir. Yes, correct. If pa it is past perfect. And then, sir, in the, sir, main clause, sir, here would have been used. Yes. I would have taken a photo. So, so had a brought is past perfect tense that has been used and yes, would have plus third form of the verb. Take yes, sir, taken been has been used. Take is the first form, took is the second form, and taken is the third form. So would have plus third form of the verb has been used in the result clause. This clearly indicates that it is the third conditional. And what does it mean? We are talking about imagining a certain condition in the past. That in the past, if I had brought the camera, I would have taken some photos. Photos. Yes. yes sir. So over here, it is third condition. Okay. Yes, Vaishnavi. Should I tell this one Italy. if I go to Italy? Yes, yes, complete that. Sir, it is a first conditional, sir, because both, sir, the if clause and the main clause both are simple present tense, and sir, it is a possible simple. Yes, simple present in the if clause, simple future in the result clause. And this is the quality of the first conditional. Will buy is simple future, and a simple go is simple present. So it is first conditional and it is quite possible also, right? Yes, so the safest way to check is go by the tenses. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Yes, Anirudh. Yes, sir. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Sir, if you had been more clear, sir, this will be the third conditional sentences. Sir, yes. because it's talking about an un sir, because it's talking about an unfilled condition, and sir, it is also in the past. Yes, because so, had been has been used been this is past perfect, yes. And would have has also be, would have had been used, which is again, uh, you can say that the had is the third form of the verb has. Has, had, and had. Right? Second form is also had and the third form is also had. Would has also been used and have. So this is the correct structure. Would have plus the third form of the verb and the had been is indicating past perfect. Right? So over here we have past perfect in the if clause and would have plus third form of the verb in the result clause. So correct, this is the third conditional again. Thank you, sir. Well, all right, the last one. Jinya, you can complete this one. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. If the ambulance hadn't, it is third conditional sentence. Yes. Because in both the sentences, we have used past 
participle basically one, see, uh, if yes if we have if one we have used past uh, perfect form of the verb and uh, in uh, others we have used would plus have plus yes, past plus third, participle yes, form past of participle the which is the third form of the verb so we can see had and arrived is the past perfect form and then would have plus third form of the verb die which is die right so this is the third conditional basically we are imagining a condition in the past that if the ambulance had not arrived then what would have happened maybe somebody got very sick there was a victim and now we are imagining that if the ambulance had not arrived in the past then what would have been the result what would have been the probable case so i have already told you that in the third conditional we try to imagine things in the past if such a situation had occurred in the past then what would have been the result of it okay so with this sentence we have completed this exercise of identifying the conditionals now we will move on to fill some blanks uh, with the help of conditionals to complete these conditional sentences so in some of the sentences the if clause is given and the result clause is missing and while in the other sentences the result clause is given and the if clause is missing so with the help uh, i have already told you that we have to identify the conditionals with the help of the tenses that are present so if the if clause is present then see what kind of tense has been used it will help you in uh, identifying the type of conditional it is so accordingly you will fill the result clause if the result clause is given then also you can check the tense that is present in it it will help you to identify the type of conditional then again with that help you can fill the if clause right so you can go with that method all right so we are starting with unnati yes unnati if it rains there's some problem with the network i think okay angel you start Good morning, sir. Good morning. So, if it rains, we'll not go out. If it rains, we will not go out. Yes, sir. Okay. So, tell me the type of conditional it is. So, first condition. Yes. It so, is. So, in if clause, we are using the uh, future tense. yes in the result clause and simple present is there in the if clause yes rains is simple present and, and will and go uh, will and go is present which is simple future, future. so it is first condition all right yes. now next one anubhav yes anubhav yes sir guru if you have studied harder we will if he had studied harder if he had studied harder first of all tell me uh, what is the tense that has been used in the result clause sir had studied had studied i am saying what is the tense that has been used in the result clause first tell me that he will win in he will win what is the sir, tense that has been used sir future perfect tense no will win is not future perfect okay anirudh yes sir sir it will be if he practiced hard he will win sir it will be first conditional sentences if he sir if he practiced hard see when we are using uh, he then uh, we will not use only practice we will add s remember agreement of verb with subject you remember or not 
Yes, sir. Yes, with he we will have to add s to it, right? If he practices hard, right? Because uh, he is a singular noun, so verb should also be singular with practice, right? So we yes, will sir. have to add s to the verb in order to make it singular. So if he practices hard, he will win. And so sir, when we are using first. practice. So it means that uh, it is simple present in the if clause and will win is present in the result clause, which makes it first conditional, right? Yes, sir. So with the help of the result clause, we could have understood easily that will win is present, which is indicating simple future. So it should be first conditional. So from here, we should get the idea first that it is first conditional sentence and then we can fill our if clause accordingly. <coughs> right. So can I say the next one? Okay, try. <laughs> Sir, if you heat water, it boils. Yes. Sir, it will be zero conditional sentence, sir, because it is talking about a scientific truth. Yes. Another one can be, it turns into vapor. Vapor. Yes. Because I have given that in the chapter of PDF, so I have changed it a bit. This is also a scientific fact, right? If you yes, keep sir. on heating beyond the boiling point, then what happens? It turns into vapor. This is also a general truth. This is also a scientific fact. So it will again be zero conditional. And you can see that heat is also simple present tense. And turns is also simple present tense. So... In the uh, if we say it turns into vapor, then also it remains zero conditional only. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, Shubhanjali. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. Ill, if you if you have asked for the help. If you have asked. Yes, sir. Why do you think it will contain have asked? Have asked means you are making it present perfect tense. First of all, tell me uh, from the result clause, uh, what is there? Would help is there? Would plus first form of yes, the verb? Sir. So in yes, what sir. type of conditional would plus first form of the verb is there? Sir, in second conditional. Second conditional. Then tell me what is the tense that is used in the if clause when second conditional sentences are there? So simple past. So if simple past is there, then why are you using have asked, which is present perfect? Then you should use simple past tense. Yes. Sir. Right, Shivaji. So it will be, yes, sir. So yes. it will be if you ask. Yes, so she would help you. Yes, if you ask for her help, she would help you. So basically, we will only use simple past. If you asked her, she would help you. Got it? So we should see the approach, right? If the result clause is, I have already told you before starting the exercise that if the result clause is present, check the tense that is in the result clause. If the if clause is present, check the tense that is present in the if clause. From there, you will get the idea which type of conditional it is. And then accordingly, you can fill in the. Then you will never go wrong. Okay. Mahi. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. So the fifth one, if he had been careful, he would have not met with Axi. Accident. Accident. Okay. He would not have met with an accident. So we can see that had been careful has been used and had been is always used in cases of present past perfect, right? So okay. this clearly suggests to us that it is in the, uh, what you can say, uh, it is in the third conditional, right? And in the third conditional, we use would have plus third form of the verb. So we can say he would not have met 
so what is they have is they and met is the third form of the verb meet so he would not have met with accident. an accident okay sir can i answer the second one also no one is sufficient going to someone else yes aryan sir if i won the that lottery i would yes. donate it i would donate some of the money to the poor okay so uh, just say uh, poor only poor uh, will include everyone we don't say poor and rich right rich and poor is sufficient in itself so if i won that lottery i would donate so see over here also we find that simple past one is present in the if clause which indicates to us that it is second conditional right so in second conditional we know that we have to use the uh, would plus first form of the verb so we will write would and donate is the first form of the verb so i will donate some of the money to the poor thank you sir right okay the last one over here was not answered i think all of you have answered okay yes yes sir so the if the weather had been better yesterday we would have played football no don't answer that which i have given in the chapter please make your own I have taken one from uh, one of your sentences from the chapter PDF only. Try to make one on your own. We would have, we would have to go to watch play. No. You are making it an infinitive to go. We won't use to go over here. Yes, Vashna, we complete this one. Sir, uh, in the in the if clause there is a perfect, uh, so it will be in the if clause. Yes, it is the past perfect tense present. Yes, had been is there. Over here, it was simple past, right? So tell me, what should come sir, in the result clause? Sir, uh, so we would have been, uh, we would have. Uh, Uh, we would have gone for uh, for for the movie. We would have gone for the movie. Correct. It will. It is correct. Because we needed would, then we needed have, and gone is the third form of the, the form verb of the go. Verb. Go went and gone. Right. So yeah. we would have gone for the movie. So it is absolutely fine. Understood, Mahi? What you had to do. We, when it is the third conditional we need would have plus third form of the verb yes, that is you, the sir. correct way okay. thank you sir well all right i think uh, one or two sentences are left in this exercise yes two sentences are there any new yes atifa not answered till now good morning teachers good morning yes Hi. first of all tell me the tense that is present in the result clause i will visit all tourist places sir it is for future future tense what type of future there are uh, many types of future tenses future perfect future perfect continuous future continuous simple future what is future perfect uh, what is the tense part present tell me i will visit all the tourist places yes sir tell me the verb that is present i will visit all the tourist places
Atufa, are you acting as if your voice is not coming or it is actually not coming? Okay, I don't know. Yes, Angel, complete it. Yes, sir. So I will visit, sir. It is simple future. Yes, it is simple future. So now complete it. Uh, add the if clause to the sentence. So if I go to Goa. Okay, if I go to Goa, will be fine. Yeah. If I go to Goa, because we needed something that is in simple present. So I go, so go is basically simple present. So it is fine if I go to Goa. So I can I, use I visit to, uh, if I visit to Goa? Yes, if I, then we won't say to, when, then we will write if I visit Goa. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay, fine. Last one now. Ira. Yes, sir. Sir, if uh, we add that, uh, sir, in this sentence, if you had given me your address, I yes. would have paid a visit. So I uh, would have it, paid a visit. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes, sir. It is third conditional clause because uh, we are talking about an unfulfilled condition in the past. Yes. If you had given me your address. So actually, it means that the person did not give the address. So yes, now sir, we I are just be... imagining, yes, that if you had given your address, I would have paid a visit. Yes, sir. It is in past perfect tense, sir. Yes. So completed now. So this chapter has been completed. And these were the exercises that were present. So now if you have some doubts, you can ask. Otherwise, according to me, this chapter is complete.